Eivor. What a pleasure to see you. Oh dear. It feels like it's been so long. Valka, my friend. You're most welcome here. Are you well? Better than well. I am present. And your mother? My mother has found her peace at last. She walks through a world seen only in dreams and will forevermore. That is all any of us can hope for. Indeed. Come. How was your passage? Exhilarating. The waves and the wind were with us from the start. We flew like seabirds. And how are you? In spite of your stoic look, there is a brightness in your eyes that warms me. It may be a kind of hope. A settlement is growing. The people are happy and I am... Looking forward to more. And your visions? They come and go. But leave all that aside. Let me help you with your things. This way. We found a fine spot for you at the foot of the hill. Hmm. Every hour we traveled, I tried to conjure in my mind some vision of this place. And how close were you? I saw the trees, and the water, and the rolling hill. But I could not foresee so much green. It is a magnificent and calming color. A balm for sea salted eyes. Volka! Godzapo! What brings you? Hope there isn't a curse on the settlement or some such. Ha! <laughs> the only curse on this place is their great lout of a blacksmith. It is a rare feeling to travel across the sea and still find oneself at home. This place feels powerful, alive. Do you foresee great things for us? No need for foresight. I feel it in my heart. Is that Valka I see? What took you so long to follow? Wanted to ensure the place was up to snuff. We must talk again soon, Randvi, once I'm settled. And before my arms fall off, what is this I'm carrying? My heaviest reagents, of course. Lead, whalebone, flax of gold. Put this one to honest work. That is what I like to see. All these people you have brought here. This life you have built on these stranger shores. Does it please you? It does. To know that I've built this place and kept these people safe is a gift. You speak first of yourself when I ask this question. Which says more than you intend, I think. Salve, Eivor. Ad Meliora. Good day. And who is that fellow? I have no idea. Well, the town must be bustling. You see there? Your home is just ahead. Tell me about your visions. They are as they have always been. Little has changed, save their clarity. With every return, the things I see feel less like dreams and more like memories. And does the All Father still appear before you? From time to time, yes. He speaks to me as well, but it feels mad to say such things aloud. I understand. You can put those just there, thank you. And here we are. Lovely. Just as you promised. As soon as I am set up here, we can return to the matter of your visions. Valka, please. You are touched, Eivor. A conduit for godly tidings. Please, let me help. I may know a way to clarify these visions. An elixir that may open the door of your mind into the realm of the gods. If you think it would help, I can finish your home myself. Only give me some time. I would be grateful. Thank you, Eivor. Of course. And welcome home. Thank you. 
Greetings. Good day. Sail! Catch the wind!
done here. Come on! Can't raise the sail yet. Sail out! Strike up a tune. Let's see you, old friend.
Run up the sail! Bring the sail in! Hey, what are you doing? Stretch your wings, Sunan. We will pick up. Danes, make them pay their guilt for the dead that now litter the fields! Show sense, please. What would the Danes gain from the slaughter of poor farmers? Look! There's a filthy Dane now! Why don't we ask? I did not touch your herd. These Saxons fight like mad dogs to protect their own. I cannot blame them. Thank you for staying your hand, stranger. What is your name? Eivor, of the Raven Clan in Mercia. Wolfhilda, abbess of Barking, and inquirer into mysteries. Are we here for the same reason, I wonder? Aye, to look upon devil's work. But why would a Dane from Upriver care what happens to Saxon farmers? If there's a rabid wolf or bear on the prowl, I would see it dead. Blame often falls on my folk for such carnage. Well and good, Eivor of the Raven Clan. Take a look at the maulings, and tell me what manner of rabid beast did these things. I could start with the dead cows. Bite marks, but not from any beast I know. And the corpse is covered in strange mold, though the wounds are fresh. Blood still wet as dew. Where does it lead? You there! What befell this poor beast? Danes befell it. How can you be sure? It was Rothgar's war band. They're holed up in that old church, working their misery upon us. Warriors do not often go about slaying milk cows. Besides, I have heard talk of a beast on the loose. A Jotun did this. I saw it, all big and hairy, staggering across the moor. Giants aren't real. You saw the devil himself taking his tithe to hell. <laughs> you are brave ones for getting so close to this awful sight. What did you see? A wolf? A bear? Maybe a rabbit hound? It 
It was a Jotun, as great as a tree. And it laughed while it ripped and teared. It yelled out its name, Grendel. manner of beast flung that poor creature up here to its doom. What sort of beast leaves glistening mold over freshly killed prey? Yet that woman blamed the Rothko and his band of dames were the killer's men. Whoever it was, they were mighty enough to get a mauled beast corpse onto a rooftop. But that little girl said the creature was a giant, calling itself Grendel. This may be the work of a band of drunken Danes, or worse. I should discuss these clues with Wolf Hilda. <laughs> Wolf Hilda, I have learned all I can from the villagers and those dead beasts. And what is your take on the mystery? Still believe a wolf or bear did these things? This is not the work of a woodland creature. The bite marks, the mold, most art. So you admit this is the devil's work? Or one of your wooden dragons come to life? A few maulings do not make for a devil or a dragon. It must be a man or a pack of them. The girl mentioned a name, Grendel. No. No mortal hand could rend flesh in such a way. Surely you see that. I have seen the worst the hands of men can do. Deeds bloodier than this. And these men stalk the night, slaying cattle as they go. True. This thing I cannot explain. Three times these attacks have happened. Each time, bite marks, broken bones and streaks of mold. Something wicked walks in East Anglia. Some other animals were attacked in the woods northeast of here. Let us go. This way. We may find more clues. should be up there in the trees ahead. Can you smell it? It reeks of death and evil. I know that scent well. Carrion and death. Loki's reek.
the maulings have drawn in a starving <laughs> Did the wolves get a bite of you? No. I'm unhurt. Thank you, Dane. I... misjudged you. No need. But tell me what happened. The beasts came scavenging for fresh meat. I meant, why are you out here with the dead cattle again? I'm... searching for my best milch cow. She's missing. And you found her? No. But I found a Danish axe. It belongs to Rothgar, leader of the war band. You know for a fact this axe is his? Yes. He brandishes it about the village, demanding ale. I will speak to this Rothgar and his war band. That woman is certain a nearby band of warriors caused these maulings. We have no other clues. I know the men she means. They're staying at the church near Brisleek Farm. Come, meet them. Their leader, Hrothgar, is a great man, for a heathen. He is no cattle killer. You have curious opinions, Wilhilda, and an uncommonly open mind. I should say the same of you. Most heathens would point to witchcraft or monsters, but you seek an earthly cause. I have seen many strange things, but the answers are usually close at hand, if only hidden. True. Yet in this case, the Church has tasked me to explain the unexplainable, that, at times, introduces unholy ideas. And your church accepts your unholy ideas? They tolerate it. Lucifer is a deceiver, and God himself works in mysterious ways. So I too must remain open to all possibilities, mundane and otherworldly. Which is why you tolerate a heathen like me. Perhaps. Or perhaps all of us, heathen and Christian, stand within the folds of a greater mystery. Rothgar's men are rowdy sorts, but the air is far too still. Stand back, priestess. This is war work. <laughs> Rothgar and his men, they... they were good to me. Have a careful, Vilda. The killer may yet linger here. I do not see him among the dead. I shall find him. Evil, look up. More blood. Someone crawled into the loft or dragged the body up there.
Thor lends me strength. The same marks as before. Bite marks and mauling. These are not weapon wounds. What manner of demon can fell so many well-armed warriors? See, more fresh mold. Same as in the fields on the cows. The villagers say it is the devil's mark. What do you say, Eivor? I say find the mold, we find our killer. sometimes slept in the loft. Have you looked up there? You are Rothgar, leader of this warband. I am. A Finnmark raider and proud of it. <laughs> For the little time I have left. I bear ill news. Your warriors have fallen. Who or what did this awful thing? The monster did this thing. It killed us while laughing. Laughing! It broke my axe and gouged me. I... <coughs> I crawled up here to die. <coughs> what was it? Did you see? A foul Jotun. A nightgoer from the world's rim. It spoke. Named itself Grendel. Said it would return. <coughs> Good. We shall wait for it to come back, you and I. Not I. My wounds are too great, and my spirit takes ship. Send them to Helheim. For me. Ride with the winged women, friend. I will handle this Grendel, whatever manner of monster it may be. Wait, warrior. There were two. scare the demon off when it returns. We will wait up here for it to show itself again. Get your rest, warrior. I will stand vigil. <laughs>
Wolfhilda, be still. Something stirs. Grendel hurt. Mama, I want to go home. I'm all that is holy and bright. What manner of monster is that thing? Not a monster, but a man. Strange to behold. But this, Grendel is, was, a man. But where did it come from? All men have mothers. This one called out for his in the end. And all of us, even the most hideous, have souls. O oh Lord, forgive this man his sins. And grant unto him your grace and everlasting love. Mold everywhere. Stay here, Wolfhilda. I'll follow this trail. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May all these souls rest in peace. Grendel must have tracked this mold here, but from where? The trail leads southwest. Malevolence. This land bears deep affliction. Feel stronger already.
the source of the mold must be near. trail leads into this pit. woman speaks of her child, Grindel. Cruel fate the gods have woven. Troll cursed to That swims with fever dreams. What just happened? Grantor! Grantor! Is you? Answer me! I, I need a thing. For a locked door. A key. Yes, I, I need a key. A key? So fitting. Yet. Yeah. Use as a key with no luck. <coughs> Gold 
just me. Not like my son. My son's blood. Ah! Where is he? Where is he? Ah! What wickedness is this? You. The woman from the farm. You lied about the Danes. Uh, to protect my boy. He never meant to hurt anyone, but the others I could not see. He, he kept growing in body, but not in mind. He was my boy, my sweet little friend. Hilda must know the truth of this. Something is wrong. Foul. Curse it.
Abbas. A4, you live yet. Pray, tell all. I slew a monster that was but a man. Then I tracked his mother and killed her too. His mother? She struck at me in the dark and I defended myself. But it was no hero's deed. Those poor souls. I shall pray for them tonight at Barking Abbey. Leaving already? I must. The bishop is eager for a full accounting of the Beast of East Anglia. Leave my name out of your tale. It is nothing to be remembered for. Understood. Perhaps it would work better as a song. I dabbled in verse as a youth. It may be time to lift the pen again. But what story shall I write? The full truth of this thing may be hard to fathom. Give them a comforting one about heroes and monsters. For the truth, the bone-cold truth of everything is... Often hard to take. It cuts like a cruel north wind on the neck. God saves us all, A4. I take my leave now, but will write to you once my poem is complete. Farewell. Thank you, and farewell to you too, Wolfhilda. Make it a good tale.